Hi, in this demo, we are going to see some of the basic container and image operations with Docker. I have already installed Docker on one of my VM. With the Docker version command, we can look at the current version of Docker which is installed on the VM. Our Docker version is 18.05.0-CE and both client and the server component is installed on the same VM. With docker info command, we can find out more information about our docker daemon. For example, number of images in the containers available on the system, the server version, storage driver, and so on. To pull an image from the docker registry, we can use docker image pull command. Like here, we are pulling an alpine image with the latest tag. We can list the images with docker image ls command. To start a container, we can use docker container run command with minus i and minus t operations, which gives us the interactive terminal. When our container starts, alpine is our image name and sh is the program which you want to run when our container starts. Let us run the command and we are now inside the container. With psaux command, we can list the processes running on our container and as expected, the shell program is the PID1. With the exit command, we can stop and come out of the container. To start the container in the background mode, we can use minus T option with docker container run command. Here, we are also giving the name of the container as web and nginx is our image name so let us start the container and as we don't have the nginx image it is getting pulled from the docker registry once the image gets pulled our container would be created with the id as shown on the screen with docker container ls command we can list all the running containers and with minus a option to docker container ls command we can list both running and stopped containers to stop a container, we can use docker container stop command. Like here, we are stopping our web container. And to remove a container, we can use docker container rm command. And with this, our container with the name web would be removed. Similarly, to remove an image, we can use docker image rm command. Like here, we are removing the nginx image. So in this demo, we have seen some of the basic container and image operations with Docker.